Hey there guys, this is uh, Jesse with uh, Permofit. Hey, I just wanted to come bring you a, a tomato update and I got some questions for all you gardening aficionados out there. I'm having some issues, ongoing issues with uh, well, just about every hydroponic tomato that I've ever tried growing. And uh, I'll show you here. So, this guy's doing the best out of all of them. Now, the first thing is I in the last couple of videos I trimmed back all the all the leaves that were down in the bottom there. Now I've gotten quite a quite a bit more growth since then. I changed the water in the bucket. I dumped out the old stuff I put in new nutrient solution. Um, and I'm using this pure blend blend pro as well as in some added nitrogen and just a little bit of this uh, bloom nutrients, grow nutrients, and this micronutrients, as well as a tablespoon of Epsom salt dissolved in uh, 30 tablespoons of water, warm water, and then I let it cool off. And so the tomato's done better, but the uh, um, if you look here, it's, it gets this new growth, and then it starts to, uh, the leaves start drying out, and so the farther up you go, the newer the growth and the better it looks, but as you go down here, it literally just dries up. Go down, go down, go down. It's the same thing. These little uh, new offshoots that start coming out. Like this guy, let's see here. This guy here, brand new little offshoot. You go over here, that's what it'll look like before too long. It'll literally just dry out. And it's, it's almost like it's not getting enough water. Well, it's in a bucket of water, so it's gotta be it's got to be the roots. So I'll peel the peel the lid back here and show you the roots. They're brown. Now it's not root rot. The water is way cooler than when I had root rot. But uh, I looked on some forums and stuff, and some suggest that what causes the roots to turn brown like that is the chlorine in the water. Because I'm using tap water. Everything I use outside, I have a well. I use well water. But for this guy, I've been using tap water. And I have not been letting the chlorine evaporate. So let me uh, come back and I'll show you the roots. All right, so here's the roots. Let's see how you can see them. They're matted. They're, they almost look slimy. I don't know if they are. I'm, my hands are full. Um, they're definitely not bleach white. They're dingy, dingy white at best, light brown. And there was actually some longer ones. The tap roots still intact and stuff, but... There was long roots that were really dark brown, and I cut them back, and the plant actually seemed to thrive from that, but I don't know if it's that. Um, it's getting a fair amount of air, and I just changed over the water, so that really oxygenated the air. Now, the only other thing is this kind of like, seems like it's a hybrid cracky me method. The, uh, the water line only goes to the bottom of the uh, container here, and above it, this thing's got roots coming out all the way to the top here. So those don't ever get exposed to water. So, uh, um, I don't know if there's, I mean, this is a gray bucket. It's not black, but it's better than the white one. So I don't know if it's getting too much light getting into the roots. And if that's the case, I can wrap the bucket. That's simple enough. But uh, if you guys know anything, I'd appreciate the help. So, otherwise, uh, for perm PermoFit, this is uh, Jesse, and uh, please uh, comment, share, and if anyone knows anything, share the video so they can comment as well. Um, otherwise, thanks guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey there, YouTube, this is, uh, well, it's me. Uh, <laughs> just wanted to let you know, it's been 24 hours since... Uh, uh, I showed you my tomato plant 
and I just wanted to show you some things. Okay, so I've done a bunch of research, and turns out that some of the likely answers and reasons for the roots being the colors they were. Um, yeah, you can't really see in there, but uh, you saw them just a minute ago. But uh, one of the reasons is is a combination of chlorine in the water shocking the plant. Um, too high a concentration of nutrients, which I followed the uh, the instructions on the containers fairly accurately, but and eh, there might be a little bit too much. And the fact that I guess tomatoes, as well as cucumbers and a few other plants, really suck up a lot of water. So what ends up happening is they use more water than they do nutrients. So as the water level goes down a little bit, the nutrient level water ratio changes and they end up having a lot of uh, more nutrients than necessary and or too much to handle and it's not enough water. So the uh, essentially they can't get nutrient uptake or it locks out and they can't get water uptake or any number of things. So what I did is despite the chlorine issue is I added about another gallon to the bucket and uh, of water and which I thought was going to flood the roots because they're they're quite a bit higher than what uh, the water normally is but we'll just see what happens uh, the other thing that can cause like the leaves like this is that is just dried up It's just dried up. And the other thing is possibly not enough light, but that not as likely to be the answer. So, anyways, so there's, here's, uh, I think I showed this to you yesterday. Um, here's one of the new growth leaves, and it seems to be doing all right. Um, I think that's the only one. But, uh, anyways, so that's it for now. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you have any suggestions like I just mentioned a minute ago, um, please please uh, leave a comment or send me a message. Um, if anyone's interested in uh, uh, promoting their channel, they can get a hold of me and we can work out a swap. Alright, thanks.